there. I'm Oma. Shreya. Glenn. Kalak. And I'm your DM, Ethan. Welcome to Venture Forth. Previously, you all had made your way to a small town on your way to the capital of Oakenspire. You guys went to the town's temple, which is a very small local temple, sort of generally devoted to the new gods. As you guys walked in, you were greeted by Hayfried Heavyfoot, a dwarven man who seemed to be the caretaker of this temple and who had a bit of a past that you guys have been uncovering. Um... You asked if he could translate this etching that Kalik had made off of the sword of some skeletons locked in eternal combat. And as he recognized this writing, he took you guys into his little dimensional hideout. Um, He opened a gateway into this pocket dimension where floating platforms were rotating in this endless void. Different platforms having different things on it from... Uh, a, a platform with wardrobes filled with clothes to armor to a platform holding a caged red dragon. You guys uh, made conversation with him and found out some essential things about questions that you had and asked him how to best release this thing from Flynn, whatever has been possessing him. He said that he would be able to do it, but you guys need a living subject to transfer the soul into And with that, you guys decided to let this creature take over Flynn so you can ask him some questions. He spouted a bunch of things about chaos and about some sort of storm in the desert as Olma and Shreya went with Hayfried to find some sort of creature to transfer the soul into. So, with that, Olma and Shreya, you guys leave this pocket dimension, this goopy threshold that you guys just passed through led you into Hayfried's house once again. And the air fills your lungs, the sunlight hits your face from a nearby window, and you guys step out into the real world. So with that, what would you guys like to do? I motion over to Oma and and I say, perhaps we can find uh, the easiest way to do this is if this town might have some sort of bestiary. That sounds like a really good idea. But why a bestiary? Because they're, they're already in cages? Yes, it'll make them easier to bring over here. That seems like a smart idea, I guess. It is a relatively um, small town. But they mentioned that there were farms. Shouldn't we just get one from a farm? Yes, I'd, uh, if they're already domesticated, then yes, it might be easier. Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's find the nearest farm. Um, okay. Um, we're still in the house, right? Yes, you are. Um, hey, Fried, are you going to stay here? Yeah, well, I mean, while the your friends are inside, I was thinking I would stand guard at the door. It's a lot harder to close the door if people are still inside. Um, and it sort of takes some time to do that, but, uh, We don't really have that kind of time. So I'm going to stay here and watch this end. You guys can go off and do your thing. Okay, we'll we'll be quick. All right. Um, do you have a recommendation of which farm to hit up? Um, I, I don't really, I don't, I don't know. Um, you might want to go and ask uh, any of the farmhands, really. I don't know who would be willing to sell anything to you. Right. Okay. Okay. Um. I guess let's go. Yes. Um. Okay. So -hmm. you guys head out the door um, and walk through the small town. Um, The closest farm that you can see um, is just off to your left, kind of past the temple. Um, And you can see these um, fields of grain. And 
you can see in the middle sort of a little farmhouse over there. So as you guys head over that way, um, you guys walk through, you find a little path through the grain and eventually you guys hear sort of off in the middle of the the grain itself, you hear, "Mm, ah, ah, come on, get get this thing going. I'd like to see. What do we see? Yeah. Yeah. What what do we see? Can we look and see what that is? Um, you all you see over in the grain because it's it's thick. You can't see anyone, but you can sort of see the tops of it rustling. Um, just a couple meters in. Um, I would like to quietly make my way and see what it is. Okay. Um, oh my, as you get closer, start the man, woman. Shh. <laughs> as you get closer, um, you hear um someone trying to to yank something out of the dirt and as the the wheat clears um you see a dwarven woman there um who is currently trying to to take this like tube out of the ground um as she's sort of trying to lift it up and she's planted one foot and she's trying to yank it up out of the ground um are you okay there oh hi hi Um, yeah i'm i'm doing just fine as she sort of wipes the sweat from her brow. What are you doing? I'm just trying to get this water system working here. Um, but would you... I I don't want to ask too much. Could you lend a hand real quick? Sure. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull from this end, and then if you could just get right down here and sort of put your hands right here and just lift. All I need is is just a yank. Um, and you you too, are you... As she points to Shreya. I'm- could you come over and... I might be able to help in a different way as I put my staff to the ground and just try to soften some of the soil around the tube. Okay. Awesome. Um, As you are yanking this thing up, Oma, I'm going to have you make a athletics check for me. Okay. Nine. All right. Um, Just barely comes up out of the dirt and then Shrai puts yeah. his, his staff into the ground and you can feel the soil starting to um, soften up. And then this dwarven woman, you can see her sort of dig in and yank it up. And all of a sudden, this tube about 10 feet long pops up out of the dirt. Oh, oh whew, thank you. You're welcome. You can, uh, uh, thank you. I, I, I appreciate that. I didn't mean to be too much. It's okay. What's this tube for? Well, I'm I'm trying to have sort of a system where I have a bunch of water over by the house and then it sort of comes down through the tubes to water um, the crops here. And I just, I can't seem to figure it out. That's a really cool idea. Is it so that you don't have to come out here every day and water it? Yeah, pretty much. That's Try really Try to save smart. myself some time. Um, oh, I'm uh, Thana, Thana Ashbeard. Very nice to meet you Hi. as she reaches her hand out. Hi, Thana, I'm Oma. And I'm sure. And oh, very nice to meet you. And as you each shake her hand, um, you can like feel the calluses in her hand as they're like very rough and warm. Is this your farm? Yes, this is my farm. Been working the earth most of your life, I see. Pretty much all of it. It was my mother's farm before mine. I'd love to help in any way I can. What what seems to be the problem that you're facing right now? I just, uh, each of these tubes just can't seem to connect. And then when they do, there's always some sort of, some sort of leak. And I can't figure out how to, to pass it through without something bursting. Hmm. I think it's, it's, because it, I have these, these connections there. It's copper, copper tubing. And I think it's, I mean, they're in 10 foot sections. I think it's like where they're connecting. That is, that's the issue. Oh, um, I might be able to help. That would be amazing. Um, maybe by melting around the areas, they'll, they'll melt together well and, and, and they won't come apart. I actually tried that. I just couldn't get my fire hot enough. Hmm. Let me see what I can do. Okay. Let me give you a, give it a shot. Where's the first connection? It's, uh, it's actually just right over here. We haven't really gone very far down the line, but um, it's just right over here. And she sort of zigzags through the crops and you guys get to this first little tubing that is protruding out of the ground. 
um, you can see two pieces of copper tube that are not connected at the moment. Okay, I'm going to try. Um, it looks like two pieces of copper. Are they already fitted together or are they separate right now? Um, you can see that they are currently separated, but there is a little piece on the ground where it's like a little, it's almost slightly thicker piece of tube um, where they would probably have tried to connect. Shreya, can you help me connect these? Yes, I certainly can. I'm going to help her out. Oma, how are you doing that? How are you um, using these together? I want to try and use a firebolt okay. to melt it and put it together. Um, as you use firebolt, um, one of it, the firebolts hits it and you can see the, it start to glow as it's a little bit hot, but it doesn't quite reach that point to where it could melt together. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try something else. Um, it's not quite working. So I'm gonna. You can see it's it started to heat up a little bit, but it's it just hasn't reached a melting point yet. What if I tried to use it again right away while it was still hot? That could definitely work. Would you? Like to do that? I would like to try to do that. Okay. Um, the second firebolt actually gets it to a point where it can be sort of fused together. And as you and Shreya take these little, these pieces of tubing and put them together, the first one sort of melts right into the second one. And as it cools, it fuses and, and forms a bond. Hey! Hey. That's a lot better than my method. I was sort of just putting it over the fireplace. I, I think that's probably why it wasn't getting hot enough. Yeah, well, it took a couple because it the first one wasn't hot enough either. So yeah, it has to be really, really, really hot to melt that. Yeah. Um, Would I? I don't want to ask too much. I mean, you've already done so much. Would you be willing to? It's just three more connections down here, and then we'll be fine. Uh, sure. Maybe then you could help us. We're we're looking um, to buy a sheet. Oh, um, that sounds like a perfectly fine trade to me. Perfect. Um, yeah. Yeah, Wonderful. Awesome. Like, yeah, I'm happy to help you. Okay. And she leads you down off to the, the second connection that is broken. And with another two firebolts, you fuse that together, the next one and the next one. Um, and as the last one comes together, she once again reaches her hand out to shake your hand and good doing business with you. It was great doing business with you. This was fun. This was this was amazing. And this <laughs> is going to, I'll tell you, save me days of work. Oh, perfect. Um, as far as payment goes, uh, you want to come back and pick a sheep? I would love to. Okay. All right, let's go. And um, she sort of leads you over past the house towards the barn. She opens up the barn doors and inside you can see um, these little sort of miniature stables for sheep. They're sort of uh, lined up in a row. And then across from that, she's got um, standard stables and she's got about four horses there. Um, And she says, all right, I've had it. Um, Pick your sheep. Um, do any of the sheep look flin-sized? Um, there are a couple, like, baby ones that are a little bit smaller. And then there's hey, sort man. of like the, the standard... I'm not saying there's that that's the flin size. I'm saying that was not the flin size. I'm saying that that was not the flin size. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. But there there are some, some bigger ones there that are about, I'd say, flin size, if not a little bit bigger. Okay, let's try it. Do you want to... Do you want to... Talk to them and ask which one wants to come with us. Absolutely. And as okay, I, but, but it has to be one of the bigger <laughs> ones over there. So I start. Uh, I, I use and make sure you remind them that. Make sure you remind them that they are going to be doing a great thing for the world around them. That they will be saving lives. I'll see if I can translate that into sheep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they have to know it's a very important job. Yes, and I... A very uh, important job. I, I think, well, with any luck, they'll understand. And I tap the crystal to my head as uh, through my beak, this energy pours out uh, and I'll uh, just say, make an announcement to all the sheep. Which, which one of you 
Uh, James. Uh, which one of you is... And I cock my head to the side. Which one of you would most accurately say that you're the outcast of this group? Um, and as you're looking down, at this point, you can hear all of the sheep talking. And some of them are, like, talking to each other. And you're, hmm, yeah, it's quite a particular animal indeed. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, no, I've never seen anything like that in my days whatsoever. <laughs> and um, you sort of see a couple of them talking to each other. And then you see one down at the very end. And he's not really talking to anyone. You'll forgive me. My accent is a little bit uh, crude and <laughs> rudimentary. <laughs> Um, you over there, and I zero in on the one that's kind of silent. He looks at you and he says, yes, what can I do for you? Well, it perhaps might be not something you could do for me, but something you could do for the greater good. Okay. Have you ever wanted more in your life than your measly existence grazing and Resting against trees. No, I'm quite content. Where I am. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> they feed me. They feed me three times a day, and I uh, I sleep comfortably, and there are no predators outside to come and take me away. So, no, I am quite happy with where I am currently stationed. Well, what if I uh, what if I told you that that there is a place where, in the midst of the nothingness, something this can be found, and you could be doing a service, the most important service for all of your brethren and the rest of all living beings combined. I would say no, I'm good. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, in that case, I uh, and uh, I would like to, I would like to try to. Intimidate this sheep. <laughs> you must hey. obey. You must obey the Lord and Master check. of all sheep and do your duty. <laughs> I speak for all sheep. Make an intimidation check. <laughs> Try really turns on a dime. <laughs> oh, no. all right, I'm just listening to. Let's do this thing. Ah. Uh, that's a 12. Uh, 12. Okay. Well, as you put it that way, um, I might be able to be willing to come with you and see what you are discussing, um, but I must be promised that I will be back here by sundown, as that is feeding time. Yes. <laughs> you will be fed by sundown. As I, uh, Come right this way, please, as I sort of wink at Oma. I think I got him. Oh, okay, good. All right, and as uh, as the sheep sort of comes out of the cage and walks away, he sort of bows his head to the other sheep and, goodbye, gentlemen. And he <laughs> walks away and comes with you. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Shrya. You know the thing with sheep sometimes they they uh they are very uh willing after a little bit of uh you know a little smack in the metaphorical rear. Yeah, you did great. Thank you so much, Dana. Um it was Welcome. so lovely working with you. And it was a pleasure working with you too. I'm glad you found a sheep that was to your liking. Absolutely. You have some lovely sheep here. Thank you. Um, just like, and if you're ever in need of a hot meal, you are more than welcome to come back anytime. Oh, that's so kind. Thank you very much. Maybe we'll you're take welcome. you up on that. I um, would love that. <laughs> um, as as we're leaving, can I just double check this? This sheep is the right size, right? Yes. Okay. Cool. Then um, I will um, pat Shia on the wing. Um, give him a nice smile. And continue walking back to um, the home. Out of curiosity, how long does uh, Speak with Animals last? Uh, Speak with Animals lasts, I believe, 10 minutes. Let me just double check. Okay, perfect. Um, 
gonna make a little leash for the sheep with okay. some friendship rope. <laughs> yeah, 10 minutes. You've got a sheep on a rope and you guys head back to the house. <laughs> And uh, as you guys get back to the house of Hayfried, uh, you walk in and, hey, you guys got a sheep. Yeah, uh-huh, and, and it came willingly. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, let's bring it in. Okay. And uh, you guys sort of lead the sheep through the goop and into the void and come out onto the other side and are once again greeted by this deafening silence of nothing all around you. Oh, so heavy in here, you know? Like... Going back in here after being out there just feels thick, you know? It is very unpleasant doing that. And Kellick and Flynn, you guys turn and see Ulma, Shreya, Afreed, and a sheep walk in through the door. Um. I guess I owe you a gold, Flynn. I I really thought they were going to bring back a, a gerbil or something. Well done. Thanks. Um, and we didn't steal it or anything. Yes, it came with us. So, uh, well, I'll just say willingly. Uh, and its owner, its owner totally gave it to us. Yes. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push on that. You know, I'm just, I'm just gonna let that go. Uh, and we were invited over for dinner. Grand. We'll, we'll try to make it in time. <laughs> Just a quick exorcism and then off to supper. Speaking of which, uh, Havery, uh, I don't know what the limitations of your conjurings are, but just as a simple way of doing right by uh, being, uh, what is the tastiest food you could possibly conjure from this place? I would very much like to feed this sheep before we go any further. <laughs> That depends on the person. I mean, for me, I could always go with a nice, uh, you know, a nice melt sandwich with a little bit of cheese on it, a little bit of meat. But again, that just depends on the person. What kind of food do you want? Well, it's not me. It's, uh, well, and I turn over to the sheep. What what is your favorite (laughs) thing to eat? What is your preferred flavor profile? I don't appreciate this accent that you're doing. I think you are putting it on to try and satisfy some sort of need to um, appeal to my sheepness, but um, it uh, is not the accent of the region, so I would. You don't have to. Yes, um, I, I apologize. I, that it's being a little said, bit crude, I understand. Um, that being said, uh, I do love a good grain, but recently my palate has been accustomed to corn, and uh, I've been eating a great deal of it. Uh, it's been quite delicious. Also, what is this place that we're in? It is a place of, <laughs> of, of infinite anything you'd like. Corn for days, if you will. I like the sound of that. <laughs> I, I look over to Hayfried. Uh, Hayfried, uh, the most delicious polenta you can conjure. All right. And he waves his hand <laughs> and another platform comes down <laughs> and you can see on this platform a full-on kitchen. Like just uh, there's a um, like a nice little um, open fire to roast a chicken. There are tables full of ingredients and cupboards with um, different spices and you can see um, the tools from the um, the counter like a spoon and a bowl pop up as if someone is taking a hold of them someone invisible some invisible hand is taking a hold of these and they begin making a delicious corn dish um, and after a couple minutes got a bowl of some delicious corn yes this is uh, this would be very easy to recreate perhaps for Many, many years, correct? Uh, yeah, they could, they could keep going. All right. Well, Guys! What the hell is this? It's a kitchen. Yes, we're making treats for this lovely young sheep. Why? I just thank son. I, like, put my head up against the bar. 
Guys, this isn't right. None of us feel great about it either, Finn. It's not a choice we make lightly. Well, it doesn't seem like I have a choice, do I? And I hit my head on the 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 bar just like slightly, just to like show that it's there. Well, we're at an impasse. It's Can't not- leave you anywhere, or we endanger wherever we leave you. And you travel with us, then you're a liability. It's not an ideal situation. I'm. Lynn, I'm sorry for suggesting that we break the crystals. I regret it. I wish that it never happened and that you never got taken over, but it has happened, and now we just have to fix it. Flynn, did any of your elders ever impart on you a sense of responsibility? Did they ever give you a sort of sacrificial complex in your mind? <laughs> they told me my burden is my own. My challenge is mine. And this feels like feels like a dirty way to solve this problem. Yes, I can relate to that. Where I come from well I know what it's like to run away from one's own kind. From what I've been taught is your home. And what I've been made to believe is the right path. The path that I was meant for. But I've learned that sometimes stepping away from that path can lead to the right thing, even if the means don't always justify the ends. In fact, if I hadn't believed that in my heart, I probably wouldn't be standing here amongst all of you. Len? It'll be in here forever. Len, once you're you, I promise you I will stand by your side and I will help you take down this organization. We'll beat them, but we can't beat them while they're inside of us. So we just leave it inside something else to be tortured forever? Is that what it feels like when you're inside? Do you feel tortured? I just hear this knocking like a dripping water droplet again and again, trying to get out again and again. There are worse things. From what little I know of sheep culture, from what I've picked up, food seems to be their main source of entertainment and joy. And just think, if all your life all you had to do was eat your favorite pastries from that shop you like so much, and intermittently it was some terrible thoughts and terrible words were interspersed between those two things, why wouldn't you just be living the full spectrum of a life anyway. Try, uh, we're not hungry in here. We don't want for food. We don't want to breathe. Nothing... Don't you feel like you would be equally tortured if you went out of that cell and you hurt one of us? I can control it. You can't, uh... You can't. I can You made me tie it to a tree the other night, Flynn. That worked, didn't it? For one night, when we were on a sail. again. What if that Cyclops shows up, and you're tied to a tree, and all man try are asleep? You think me and me sickle are gonna be quick enough and strong enough? I'm strong enough. I am. Then we know you're strong. This has nothing to do with that. You are strong. But that doesn't mean you don't have help every once in a while. I just sit down on the ground, head still slumped. 
I turn to Shreya and I nod to him. Um, and I start to bring the sheep forward and I look to, I look to Hayfried. What do we do now? We got to bring him back over to the, the other platform over there. Okay. Shreya, you want to bring his horn? Yes, I uh, talk back to the sheep. I hope you're enjoying the corn, and uh, we'd very much like for you to come over here and uh, just take a little bit of, uh, well, we have a new grazing spot for you. Oh, well, if this corn is any indication, I would love to come with you, yes. <laughs> very well, very well. And, uh, he said to- he'll kill you. Inside of a sheep's body? He said... They, it? I don't even know what it is. Head still slumped. If you let it out, it promised it would kill all of you. And I guess we're just gonna have to fight it. And I won't be able to help. It's gonna be in a sheep's body. How do we know it's not going to turn into something before that? I don't... Flynn, that's what we face every day. How do we know it's not just going to take over you completely? If I have to watch you guys die while I'm inside a cage locked away, that's the worst thing that'll happen. Hey, Freed. Yeah? Can we put the sheep in the cell before we start any- to do anything? Yeah, we could put the sheep in a cell as long as it's over here on this platform. We'll put it in a cell. And put it in the same one with me. But what if it hurts you before we can get you out? Or what, what if, if it, it tries to get out while while you're getting out? What if it has to be in the same... Like, what if this cage stops the spirit from moving from one cage to another? Hey, Freed. Yeah, is this... This is your world. We don't know a thing about it. I will say, I I would need sort of an unobstructed view for this thing to happen, for it to be a clean transition. Okay. Basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to have the sheep down on one table, Flynn down on the other table, and it's going to take me some time, but I'm going to need to put my full concentration into transferring this thing over. I am expecting some resistance. These things... Are never easy. So, I need all of you to be prepared. Now, one additional thing. When we transfer, we need whatever's inside of you to be as distracted as possible. Whatever it is. That would make the transition as easy. Lynn, I need you to go back inside. I need you to distract this thing in any way possible. I can... Bring in some of your friends in there with you. If you would like. As many of them as you need. But the more you put in there, the more it puts strain on me as I'm transferring it. It's still slumped. I defer to you as what you want. It's just me. Only me. Sure that any of us would be more than willing. I know. I know. Don't die in there. <laughs> I don't plan to. Um If you die in there, Flynn, they'll kill you. <laughs> I lift my head up and and I, a smile cracks. And I look to Shreya. Um, have you talked to the sheep? I'm assuming you have. I've heard you make noises in a weird accent. 
Uh, What's it saying? Yes, I, I give you the details of the recipe in just a moment. What is that, Flynn? What, um... What are its thoughts? What are the thoughts? Uh, this particular being, uh, very rudimentary, as you might imagine, and yet oddly refined. Um, <laughs> there's a, a sort of sheep culture, a sheep <laughs> code of being, and they seem to be very content to, uh, they're almost, uh, almost make it a, a religion of simplicity. And there's a beauty in that. Uh, we've had a long conversation about life and and the eternal nature of everything, and, well, just tasting these, what's emanated from that kitchen over there has, has made it very excited to, to not ever have to part with these lovely feasts for their senses. Can I, can I talk to them? Uh, what would you like to say? I, I can't grant anyone the ability to speak directly, but I can translate for you if you'd like. I'll turn to Hate, hate Freed. Can I talk to him, then? If you give me a couple minutes, I might be able to do something like that. I'll wait. All right. And he walks over to um, uh, the uh, platform with the books, and he flips through some of the books, grabs a couple of ingredients... Walks back, says, "I'm I'm sorry. I I don't I don't think I'll be able to make that happen for you without expending myself enough for this. What we need to do." This. I turn to try. This. Tell them I'll come back and fix this when I'm strong enough. I turn over to the sheep. Do you see that fellow over there? (laughs) Yes, I I see the one right there. Yes. Yes, he would like to, I suppose, retroactively or in any case, uh, well, let, let me put it to you this way. If there is any harm that is to come to you, that being over there, that fellow, his last name's Fellow Weave, actually, uh, has ensured to me that that he will take care of you in the future, should any harm befall you. I will tell him that I say thank you and that my fears have been put to rest as far as this whole situation goes. Um, and I would also like to say thank you for the kitchen for providing this wonderful meal for me. <laughs> yes, I will uh, give my compliments to the to the yes. chef. They they seem imaginary. Whoever put this together. Well, yes, that, I would love that. That fellow over there who just been making lots of things happen in this sort of ephemeral space has uh, been the one in charge of all of this. But I, I will both uh, relay your compliments and uh, the fact that your fears are now put at ease. One, oh, I do very much appreciate that. Yes, absolutely. It's my pleasure. Uh, and uh, <laughs> look over to Flynn and say uh, he's deeply grateful. And I look <laughs> over to uh, <laughs> and the compliments to the chefs, whoever they are. I just, I just look at Shia speaking to a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> and then turning and saying this, this, and I just have a, I just look tired. <laughs> um, Flynn, are you, are you sure you don't want just one person to help you, and then the rest be out here? Just sometimes having friends is nice. Um, I look to Shreya. Does it know? Does it know what's happening? And I have a, I sort of take a long look at the sheep. Long look back at Flynn. And I say, It wouldn't have come with me if it didn't know that it would be doing a great service. <laughs> a service greater than it even knows. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> can, can I, uh, can I, uh, 
Can I try to persuade him? Yeah, can I try <laughs> and read that somehow? Well, uh, technically, it's statement. not a lie. <laughs> technically, you did tell the sheep that. Um, I'll let Flynn make an insight check. Okay. And uh, Shreya make a deception check. This is All right. Big. Or, per, or persuasion or for Shreya. All right. Deception. Okay. I have my roll. You said yeah, insight for me? I'm going to go with persuasion. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. That's not good. Uh, yeah, you're <laughs> probably going to beat this no matter what. That was a that's a four minus one, so that's a three. <laughs> Wait, did you say you have inspiration? Is that what you said? No, no, I, I it's a minus one because I don't have great charisma. Oh, okay. Uh, I just look at him, kind of just force a smile. Okay. All right, we get ready to get going on this. How can we help you out here, Hayfried? Uh, what can uh, we be doing to make this easier? Um, we just need Flynn up on the table. And then uh, I think the main thing is going to be getting that sheep on the table. Um, as you can see, two tables lined up in the middle of this platform. Shaya, do you want to just ask him to maybe hop up on the table? Yes, that, that seems best. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, uh, calming, calm your mind and please step up onto this table. I believe another serving Ooh, more corn. is imminent. Um, I will but say, I haven't done there. my stretches for the day, so I, the table is quite tall. Um, I might need some assistance in getting up on top of it. Um, uh, just give me one moment. And he sort of, he tries to reach his little sheep leg up on top of the table, <laughs> but he's just, he's just too short. There's no shortage of help here. And then I, oh, we need to, oh. we need Lift him up Crying out loud. Let's, let's, I was let's just like <laughs> urgently <laughs> rush over, heave the sheep onto the, onto the table. And the sheep is on the table. Um, <laughs> Yay. We did it. Um, <laughs> Bloody sheep. <laughs> and uh, with that, Flynn, you hop up on the other table. Um, before, uh, I, I was assuming I was in the cage. So on my way over to the table, oh, yeah. um, I'll walk over to where the sheep's at. Um. Try uh, Do you you ask if the sheep minds if I take some of its wool? Just a small tuft. I don't see why not. Uh, good fellow. Uh, not that fellow. you, you fellow. Uh, would you mind if this fellow uh took a little bit of your what do you call it? Wool is is that the proper? F- term for it. Yes. It has been some time since I've received a haircut and I would not mind oh. at all. My hair is getting quite uh, shaggy and that would not be an issue. All right. I'll say to this one that he is free to take a, a tuft of your wool. I turn over to Flynn. Yes, he says there easily. All right. I'll pull out a dagger real quick or a small little knife and just cut a, like a handful size of the wool. I'll just cut that oh. Um, and then just I'll grab a piece of string or or something and kind of tie it so it kind of stays together. And I'll I'll go over to uh, Kellick. Um, can I see my bag real quick? Sure, of course. I'll lower it down. And I'll go to my my little bag that I have all the other knickknacks in. I'll just hold the fur for a little bit and just or the wool. Just kind of like feel it in my hands. And, Put it in the bag. Close it. Okay. Go over to the table. Um, as you hop up onto the table, all right, is anyone going in with him? Or are you all staying out here? No. All right, then let's get on with this. And as you lay down on the table, Hayfried lifts both of his hands and all of the platforms that were rotating around completely stop and are still. I would like to, uh, yeah. before he begins this process, just pull some uh, a vial of water from my medical bag and just uh, dab Hayfried's forehead with it and cast uh, protection from good and evil. I esteem. Oh, okay. And he gives you a little nod. As I see Kellick, um, I'll turn to Hayfried as he's doing that. Should I have my equipment on the table too? Does that matter? You can call it to your, to your hands. 
I think there's a Just as well. interesting thing with dimensions. I don't want to mess with it. Should I have it on the table, Hatefried? Um, yeah, you could have it on the table. Yeah, like if you mind. No bother. I will put his belongings on the table. I'll kind of strap it over my shoulder. Um. All right. All right. Would it be helpful to tie him down? Yeah, that might be a good idea. I'll use the friendship rope. Okay. Tie him to the table. Um, while she's tying me to the table. Thanks. Don't mention it. We'll see you soon. All right, let's get this party started. See you soon. And he slaps his hands together and rubs them together, raises both of his hands as all the platforms around you stop. And you all feel a deep... Mm, filling this cavernous void as this golden energy begins to flow from his hands. And it flows out and covers Flynn. And it flows out and it covers the sheep. And Flynn, as you are laying there tied down, you close your eyes and you hear that knocking. It gets louder. It gets louder. And it gets louder. And as you open your eyes, you're once again trapped in this small room. And everyone else is standing outside and they see Flynn's eyes open once again. This inky black has consumed them. And I'm going to have everyone roll initiative. Oma, what is your initiative? 11. Shreya. Uh, 17. It is a 17 Flynn. I got a total of 20. And Kellick. Eight. Eight. Okay. First up, Flynn. You wake up inside this small room. You can see now this shadow figure, the, the pinpoints of their eyes have now grown wide, and you can see the arms start to elongate as these, these blades made of shadow come out from their fingers. And you can see that they're getting bigger and bigger and looming over towards you in a malicious manner. What mm-hmm. would you like to do? Cool, cool, cool. Um, summon my sword. Uh, does it okay. summon? Yes, you okay. summon your sword. Summon my sword. Um, he said not to do this, but I want to do it. I'm, he said to distract it. Um... I will. I'm going to do it. I don't know if it's going to mess things up. I'm going to put my hands in a pouch, uh, assuming that it's still there, grab some mm-hmm. silver on my fingers, and as I rub it together, my uh, abjuration, uh, my blue sigil uh, glows, and I rub the fingers across my forehead and cast protection from evil and good. Okay. Okay. Is that your whole turn? Yeah. Okay. Um, the rest of you, uh, from the outside, see um, as Flynn's body is being coated in this this golden light, um, Hayfried starts to struggle a little bit as he. You can tell he's like starting to waver and oh, oh, oh come come on. Shreya, as you see this, um, Flynn begins jerking around on the table, or at least his body does, jerking around on the table. And you can see him trying just his hardest to break free from the restraints. What would you like to do? Uh, I would like to... I'm going to yell out to him, Steady yourself, lad! And uh, I'm also going to... uh, I'm going to hold... Uh, call lightning. Okay. Um, next up, Lynn, what is your strength modifier? Uh, that's not a good one. Uh, strength is a minus one. 
is a minus one. <laughs> Probably good for you in this situation. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> this thing um, is going to uh, take its action and try and break free of the restraints. Um, it's yanking and pulling, but the rope is not going anywhere. Um, the rope of friendship? The rope of friendship is not going anywhere. Flynn, from the inside, mm-hmm. you see this thing looming over you, and it brings one of its claw hands down and swipes at you. Okay. Um, is it a disadvantage? It would be a disadvantage. Actually, what is the what does that spell say specifically? Abjur- aberration, Celestials, Elemental, Fey, Fiends, and Undead. I'm going to say yes, it's at disadvantage. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's good, because that first one was a natural 20. <laughs> but that second one is still a 15. Um, so that is going to be... Excuse me. A 17 to hit. Oh, 17 total. Um, yeah, that hits. Okay. That's going to be five points of slashing damage. You got it. And then with its other arm comes down and makes another swipe at you at disadvantage. Cool. That's going to be a 11 to hit. Uh, that'll miss. It scrapes its claws across the uh, the stone wall right above you as it misses. <sighs> um, next up, Olma, you see that the body of Flynn is trying to get out. What do you want to do? I'm going to run to the body. Okay. I guess. And just like lean over and whisper in his ear, Flynn, I don't know if you can hear me, but you can do this. Just, I don't know. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, And I am going to take a dodge action. The head snaps over towards your direction. I don't know what you're saying. This thing is jerking around and struggling to get up off of the table. Um, okay, you take the dodge action. Kellek, what um, would you like to before do? Before Kellek, I do need to make a concentration check for protection from evil and good. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to roll that either. now, and I do have four casters, so it's an advantage. Uh, the first one's low. Um, but I add my modifier, right? So, 11. So I think that passes, right? To, con- to concentrate mm-hmm. on... Okay. Yes. Yeah, that cool. passes. Kellek, what would you like to do? Gosh. I'm going to turn to Hey Freed. Uh, and I uh, say, uh, oh, wh- what's the problem? What's going on? Yeah, something in there is getting in the way. Oh, uh, damn. Why can't it ever just go smoothly? Uh, I'll, I will go over to, uh, Flynn and I'm going to, uh, take a, uh, a, a, a needle from my bag, a needle and thread, and I'm going to, uh, uh, pull my fingers across the, the, the small bit of thread uh, and and those little just just in the very tiny interstitial bits of of the thread uh, uh, they'll be lit up with little embers and I will cast Prius mending on the uh, on his rope bonds wherever they are beginning to strain I'm going to be mending those. Uh, broken fibers. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. All right. Um, yeah. So uh, any strength check made against those are going to be at disadvantage now. So great idea. Um, awesome. Next up, Hayfried is struggling. He is going to try and continue this spell. It is going to be at disadvantage, though. He still rolls high enough. That is one success. Oh. Nice. There we go. Okay. Lynn, this demon just swiped at you from mm-hmm. the inside of your mind. Why? What would you like to do? Um, oh. I'm going to look up at it, and its eyes are now bigger, brighter. Yes. The, the white dots of its eyes have expanded. Uh-huh. <laughs> There you are. Stay with me. And I'll take my fingers, uh, um, 
red glow on the arm, and I uh, tap, 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 and I'm gonna try and hit it. See if it, okay. it connects this time. See maybe if it's Make moving. Make it attack roll. Okay. Yeah. Um, do I have advantage because of this? No. Okay. Attack roll. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, 24? 24. Oh, that for sure hits. Okay. Um, whereas nice. your sword had just swung right through him before, yeah. um, you find a pinpoint spot and you stab him right, and Whoa. it feels like it goes into <laughs> some portion of flesh. Yeah. Okay, uh, so let me roll some damage. Uh, that is Booming Blade. So at fifth level, I do an extra d8 plus the d6. Okay. That is poop roll. So that is... <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, uh, 12 points of piercing and thunder total okay. altogether. <laughs> and then uh, Not nothing. I'm assuming if I hit him, there's like this elect- like this thunderous booming wave that is just inside his body now <laughs> because of that strike. It is, yes. Um, and that... Oh, that's my turn. Okay. I would have moved up to him if I wasn't, but yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Um, next up, Shreya. I'm gonna lean over to the sheep and say, probably more excitement than you've seen in all of your years. Eh? At this point, the uh, the spell has actually worn off, and ah, damn it. so I just say into the air. <laughs> <laughs> Not realizing that as well. Um, next up. Uh, quote unquote Flynn is going to try and break out of these bonds once again at disadvantage because of the mending that's still going to be a success even with disadvantage Um, the arms both snap the rope at the same time and um, he is going to yeah that's going to be his action to free himself from the rope and he's going to use his movement to stand up on the table and look around at all of you guys. Shit. Um, next up is Oma. Ah, of course it is. Um, I'm going to um, reach out. He's standing on the table, right? Yes, yes. I want to reach out and grab his legs and pull them out from under him so that he falls back. Okay, I'm going to say that this is a grapple check. Okay. So that is going to be your athletics against his dexterity. Do you want my numbers? Yes, I uh, Yes, I would. What is your dexterity? Uh, my dexterity is a plus four. Uh, acrobatics, um, is there any way? Is there any way I can fight for this to be an acrobatics check? Yes, I will say this can be an <laughs> acrobatics check for you. Um, um, is it proficiency? Yeah. Like, is it my acrobatics? Yes, what's your acrobatics? It's actually more. It's seven, plus seven. Okay. You rolled a nine. Nine plus seven is sixteen. Okay. Seventeen plus six. Yeah. Okay. Let's go, Oma. Okay. Um, you <laughs> yank his feet out from under him. He kind of face plants right onto <laughs> the table, and he is now knocked prone. Great. Um, I am going to um, use my movement to hop up on the table. Okay. And oh. crouch over him, holding him down. Okay. Um. You used your movement for the grapple attack to knock him over. Um, so I'm going to say... Are you saying I still have an action? I, no, your or grapple no. is your action. Yeah, that's what I thought. So okay. I'm saying, okay, like you are prepared to hold him down. He's yes, not I'm prepared. Yeah, I'm fully, not actually... I can't... Yeah. I know I can't do that yes. yet. Okay. But I am crouched. I'm, I'm using my movement to hop up on the table and crouch over him. Okay, perfect. Kellick. Uh I'm going to try and redo the bonds, I guess. Now that he's... Okay. That is prone on the table. Um, maybe just like tie the hands together at this point. I don't know if tying the yeah. Him. I'll have you make a sleight of hand check because okay. this is like a precision thing to tie a knot. Sweet mother. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's a, a DC 14 to tie him back down. Okay, uh, that's a 19. Ooh. Woo! <laughs> okay, you just grab the ropes, wrap it around his wrists. And he is now uh, restrained once again. Nice. I, after Alma pulls him and he face plants, I just immediately like slag, like leap on top <laughs> of him to tie the hands together. Okay. Um, 
Next up, Hayfried is going to continue his spell at disadvantage. Disadvantage, that is one failure. There's one success and one failure. Mm. Um, as he's, you can tell he's struggling. You can see a, a drip of sweat starting to come down his brow as he's uh, uh, trying to keep this spell going. Um, Flynn, what would you like to do? Um, do I sense any type of disturbance or like realization that that they're struggling out there? Um, that the spell's struggling. Make a Arcana check for okay. me. I'll take a quick glance. Oh, Arcana's not bad. Uh, 13? 13. You would think as this thing is being pulled from your body, you would think it would be getting weaker, but you don't feel any sort of... Uh, you don't feel it getting any weaker. Okay. Do I make a connection that it's to the spell that I've casted? Or am I not sure? Yeah. Well, you would know he told you that it might impede right. it, so that's probably okay. what it is. Okay, so I'm noticing that. I'll look up at it. All right. Gloves are off. I'm going to take my hand. I'm going to wipe off the silver and drop concentration on okay. extra femium bone good. Um, All right. And then I will attack twice, just regularly with my sword. Okay. That is really low uh, for the first one. Uh, 11? 11 does not hit. No, you swipe through it just like a shadow once again. 10. 10 does not hit. You make um, two swipes and this thing is unmoving. I... Yeah, that's my turn. I'll just kind of look up at it and smile. Stay here, buddy. Okay, Shreya. Flynn's body was just tied down once again. What would you like to do? Uh, I would like to move forward to and put my staff ahead of me and look down uh, as to prepare to hold down again if need be. Okay. Um, You are doing that. Okay. Next up. Um... Flynn, as you are facing this thing, it goes to swipe at you two more times. Regular rolls now. Just regular rolls. Mm-hmm. First one is a 13. Miss. <gasps> the next one is an 8. Miss. <laughs> and I just, as, ting, ting. You, as you wiped off that symbol from your forehead, um, you could immediately feel the life of this being starting to get drained um, from your mind and it sort of weakens a little bit and it's two strikes just miss you cool. um, everyone else outside um, he is sort of in a situation so he's going to stay tied down with Shreya pressing over him with Oma on top as well he's going to stay there but you all hear murmuring under his breath as everyone Let's see. Kellick, Oma, you're on the table, so you're good. Kellick and Shreya, I'm going to have you guys make dexterity saving throws for me. Oh, boy. As from the stone beneath you, these hands begin to break through the stone and try and latch onto your legs, just as you had seen happen to the Cyclops. Shreya, what is, what's that uh, dexterity saving throw? Ah. Uh. Save. That's a seven. Seven does not. Gaelic. Five. Oh. Five. Okay. So, um, as these arms reach up and their fingernails are sharpened into points, these claws rip into the calves of your legs and try and drag mm. you down. Um, both of you are knocked prone. Your movement for the next round is reduced to zero. And you both take... 11 points of slashing damage Ah. as these things just Ah. totally rip up your legs. Sorry, Ah. guys. Next up, Oma. What would you like Um, to do? I see this. I'm still on top of him. Um, I would like to attempt to knock him unconscious. 
Okay. Make an attack roll. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just punch him. This would be at advantage. Oh, because okay. I'm prone. Because he's prone, restrained. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so the first punch. Everything. Both really good rolls. That is a 24 to that hit. for sure hits. Yeah. Okay. Low. Um, five points. Okay. And then I get a second punch. Yeah, go for it. 22. 22 hits. Uh, that is four points. Okay. And as you look at the the creature, as you tried to knock him out, um, it looks like those two punches did the same amount of damages, uh, damage as if you were to just straight up punch Flynn. Um, so, that being said, Oma, are you staying where you are? Yep, staying over him. Okay, Kellick. What would you like to do? So I'm I'm prone. Am I grappled prone or did I just get pulled down? You just got pulled down. You are not no. grappled right now. All right. Then I will use half my movement to stand. Okay. Uh, Flynn is still bound, correct? Or did he break out? Okay. Yes, he is still, still bound. bound. Okay. He sort of gave up on, on that. Right. He, he didn't use somatic to all the stone hands. Um, bitter t- um, I'm going to uh, having seen Olma take this course no I'm gonna I'm gonna um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to bane uh, Flynn uh, it's a okay. charisma save charisma save that's a natural one he is baned. Uh, but I do, that does drop protection from good and evil off of uh, Homeboy. Pay for you. Okay. Because it's constipation. All right, he is baned. Actually, you know what? I forgot about something. Being a halfling, rolling a natural one does not mean the same thing with halfling luck. So he's gonna roll again. Okay, That's but is he a low. halfling? So which character is, she, she is? rolled the natural one? <laughs> <laughs> because nah. technically, the halfling is lucky, not the body of the halfling. Not the soul <laughs> within. Yeah. Okay, I'll give that to you. Uh, that's a good argument. I'll give that to you. I'll give that to you. Let's go. I will give that to you. I was curious. I was curious. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's a good argument. I appreciate um, that. All right, I uh, next up. You for the record. <laughs> I would have accepted you. Same, same. Next up, Hayfried. Um, he immediately, uh, you can tell that he like regained a little bit of control over the situation here. So this is just going to be a straight roll. And that is another success. So Hayfried is continuing to do what he does. Uh, Flint, uh, from inside your mind prison. Yep. You feel, out of nowhere, two blunt Ugh. contacts. I'm sorry. You don't know where it came from, but you take nine points of damage. Nine? Uh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh man, it's like a truck, man. <laughs> Just so okay. And with that, what do you want to do, Flynn? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um. Let's see. I rolled really low, too. Really low too. Yeah. Could have killed him. Um, I'm gonna look up at this thing. Uh, and I, do I realize that it's weakening? Do I see it? Do I see what I did like working? Like it seems to be being drained. What exactly does it look like? What's happening? Yeah, you feel like you feel as though like some sort of blockage in your mind is being cleared. Um, it's almost like there's you know like a stream in your head and it is slowly being cleared of debris. Interesting. Um, I will kind of realize that what I did, what I'm, what's going on, it's working. It, just keep distracting it, keep distracting it, let them do their thing. Um, and I'll think back to uh, Balin and him teaching me that, you know, attacking quick. And I'm going to attack twice and then action surge attack twice. I'm going to try okay. and knock out four attacks on this thing and just nice. keep it on me. 
one. So two. Uh, but the second one is uh, seven, uh, twenty-three. That hits. Okay. Do you mean to just roll all the attacks real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll all the attacks and then you can do damage. Oh man, that was one to the nineteen. Uh, so twenty-six. That hits. Eighteen. That hits. Okay. So three, Woo! three hits. Three of them hit. All right. So here's this. <laughs> Three uh, plus twenty-seven points of piercing damage altogether. As it just Ooh, ha, wow. ha, ha, come on, right here, come on, stay here. And that's my turn. Wow, it was not a fan of that. Okay, <laughs> um, next up, Shreya. Your legs are being clawed by these arms. What do you want to do? I'm gonna try to stand back up. Okay, you can use half of your movement to stand back up. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. And I'm going to once again level my staff with an affirmative kind of grunt. I'm just, I'm going to do the shillelagh cantrip as it, as the staff glows and just pulses. And I'm readying it to whatever is about to, if anything's about to come out of Flynn, I'll be ready for it. Okay. All right. Um, next up, Flynn. You see this demon, its form is beginning to shrink back down. Um, and in a moment of desperation, it's going to look at you and its eyes glow this blinding white. And it is going to um, have you make a Christmas saving throw. Ooh, you know, I'm good at those. <laughs> 19 plus nothing. 19. 19. Nice. So this searing light that comes out of its eyes, um, you are able to not take as much damage. Woo. Wait, as much? But that is still... <laughs> <laughs> that is four points of fire damage. Okay. As this light emanates from it that is so bright, it burns your skin. <sighs> um, actually, um, I would like to use my reaction if I could. Yeah, what do you, you want to... Okay, so normally you see that uh, my, when I raise my hand up, um, it's flat, and it's uh, when I'm casting shield. But in this instance, I raise my hand up in the arcing fashion in a similar way, um, but the 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 hand is in a tight fist. And as I do both sigils glow, both red and both blue, uh, trailing behind, and as I pass my arm upwards, uh, the barrier, similar to shield, comes up. Um, and as the damage hits... Uh, my barrier seems to buffer it and weaken the impact before dissipating, and a portion of it seems to siphon off and travel into my red tattoo, uh, and it starts to glow red as I cast Absorb Elements. Okay. Um, All right. So, let me see if I do anything else. Lessening the effect. So I have just, I have, uh, I have resistance until the start of my next turn, so uh, two points of damage. Two points okay. of damage. So yeah. I'll, I'll put two points back, um, and then yeah, that's that little sigil is glowing red on my arm now. And I kind of, as I do that, I look up at it and I kind of, after I'm done, I give it a give another little side cocked grin, a little smile. All right. Um, okay. Next up. Um, everyone, you see Flynn, who is currently, like, he's face down on the table. Um, Shry is holding his staff against him. He's tied down. Olma, you are directly on top of him still. And you look down at the back of his head where you punched him. And like an owl, his head begins to rotate 180 uh, degrees as what? it comes back and looks directly at you. He opens his mouth and this green gas begins to emanate from him and spill out all over the table, creating this huge um, cloud of this noxious gas around everyone. Um, Olma, Shreya, Kellick, and uh, Hayfried as well. I'm going to have you guys all make constitution saving throws for me. Come on, man. Um, I, I have a 13. Okay. But I am also going to use the absorb element. <laughs> yeah, you are. There it is. Okay. All right. I rolled a seven. Okay. I rolled a 13 as well. 
14 as well. Okay. So, everyone, except for Oma, ah. takes 22 points of <gasps> poison damage. Oh my Oma, gosh. Oma, you take 11. As your lungs are filled to the brim with this gas. And you look over and um, you can say, see Hayfried. Um, he's breathing in this gas and he's like trying to cough it back out as quickly as he's as he's breathing it in. Um, he doesn't seem to be distracted as much as Kalik and Shreya um, as he succeeded on that. But he did take damage, so he's going to be affected by that. Um, that is going to be his turn. Olma. What would you like to do? Uh, <sighs> yeah, I, um, did it seem like he used his mouth when, when he did that? I know I obviously his mouth opened to release the gas? Did it look like he said said something before that, though? Uh, you didn't hear him say anything. At least not before the, the gas came out, no. <laughs> was that poison? Sorry, was that poison or... That was poison damage. I yes. don't know if you can use Absorb Element on poison. Oh. Acid, cold, fire, lightning, thunder. So I don't think I can use it. Okay. I'm going to remove that. So should so I that take... that is an additional 11 points of damage. So okay. 22 total. Okay. Um, he's still grappled though, right? He is, yes. And not just by me, by other people too? By Shreya, by the rope, and by okay. your body weight. Yeah. Okay. Um... I'm going to turn to Kellick and I'm going to say, Kellick, hold him! And I'm going to hop off. Okay. And I'm going to walk over to, um, um, to Hayfried. And I'm going to take a deep breath and I'm going to breathe in and try to remember everything I was taught early on about connecting to that special place inside of myself. And I'm going to reach out and try as much as I can, and this is up to you, DM, and try to um, hold Hayfried's hand and um, give him as much support and juice as I can. If there's any way I can connect to my chaotic magic and share it and like share it with him or bolster him in some way, you let me know. Um, okay. I do not know if that's anything that can happen. <laughs> I am going, because both of his hands are up, one towards the sheep and one towards Flynn. I am going to, I'm going to have you make an Arcana check. And either way, I'm going to have you roll a wild magic surge. Yeah, that makes sense. Because you're trying to do this. Oh, wow. Um, so whether you are able to help him or not. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's a 12. That's a 12. Um, you feel like you might be providing emotional support more than anything else. Sure. But mm -hmm. you are really trying to reach deep inside of you um, and make that wild magic surge. Uh, you have to beat a seven. Once again, those little dots around the sixes and the nines are very difficult, <laughs> um, but that's a nine. <laughs> oh, okay. Jeez. <laughs> Getting closer to 50-50. Yeah, no right. kidding. Okay. Unacceptable. <laughs> All right, Kalik, what would you like to do? <laughs> <sighs> okay. Conceso. I cast Healing Word on myself at second level. And that's going to be 10 points of healing. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to take uh, Oma's advice and um, uh, 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 grab hold of. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like get up on this thing, and I'm gonna like headlock Flynn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like try and like pin okay. his his head to not be able to move anything, and if possible for color, I'm gonna take a rag out of my bag and like hold it over his his mouth. 
I'll leave okay. the, his nose free. Free. But. Since he is already at disadvantage for his strength check, mm. um, I just so you guys know, I raised the DC for him to break out of these bonds. Okay. The DC is very high and it's at disadvantage. So, just so you know, everything there is adding to that. Sure. Um, okay. Hayfried is up next. Uh, because he took damage from the poison, it's going to be at disadvantage. Mm. That's going to be one failure. Wait. So that is going to be uh, two successes and two failures. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. It's really coming I'm down I'm not giving wire. him anything. Oh, my I'm God. I'm not giving him any juice. <laughs> well, you are not. Lynn. Uh, tattoo pulsing red. Sword in the other hand. Once again, that rocky grin. Let's see how you like it. I'm going to swing down with an attack. Okay, make an attack roll. Uh, 19. 19 hits, yeah. Awesome. So when I hit the, the, the black and red tattoos, the red one that's on my sword arm, both pulse. The, the, the red one then, first black turns red, and as this flame comes out from it, engul- engulfing my sword as I plunge in and I do some fire damage on top of my normal damage as Osbor of Elements gets reflected back into this being. So, it is that, and then the, ooh, that's good. Okay, so 10 points of piercing total, okay. and then six points of fire damage. I don't know if you want those separate, but I rolled max on the fire damage. Okay. So that is 16 total? 16 total. Okay, wow. It was um, not enjoying that. How's it looking? Can I tell? Do I even know? Can it's I feel? looking like... it's it's It looks like more exhausted. You can tell by its body posture. It looks exhausted. And you can feel like a lot of that sense of, of blockage beginning to clear. As I re- retract my blade to strike again, I aim for the head. Going for okay. my second attack. Make an attack roll. Um... 15? A 15 just hit. <gasps> okay. Okay, there. Um, that's decent. Uh, another 12 points of piercing damage. Okay. Ooh. Come on, baby. All right. It is still standing, um, but and just then, barely. Uh, as I look up at it, I'm... <sighs> and I'm going to calm my breath. Close my eyes for a second. Cast second wind and heal. Um, okay. And look back up at it and smile. Uh, let me just double check. Be quick. That is a total of nine points of healing to me. Okay. As I look back up and you're not going anywhere. Neither am I. <laughs> That's my turn. All right, next up, Shreya. Uh, <laughs> uh, as I stumble back a little bit, I'm going to bring my hands around uh, the crystal in the middle of my staff. As my hands charge up with this golden light, I then touch that to myself as I uh, cast Cure Wounds at second level. All right. Get back. Uh, 12 points of hit. 12 hit points back. Um, next up. Nice. Um, Flynn, in one last act of desperation. The, uh, um, it's no longer baned, by the way. I failed my concentration check. Oh, so, okay. Gotcha. Just saying. Okay. In one last act of desperation, it's going to try and swing at you two more times. Okay, bring it. It's going to be a 12. Miss. And then a 22. Hit. Okay, that second one. Six points of slashing damage. You got it. <clears throat> Not enough, buddy. From the outside, um, you guys see um, Flynn's head still rotated 180 degrees um, as he begins, like, convulsing on the table. I'm holding him. And currently. Yeah, he's... You're, you're holding him. He's convulsing on the table. And um, he... Yeah, as one last little 
act, he's going to snap his fingers, and um, darkness fills the area that you guys are in. Um, as everyone on this platform can no longer see as you are entrapped in magical darkness. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be what he does. Um, next up, Oma. I'm standing right next to, um, like I'm. I still have my hand on, um, on Hayfried, so I know he's still there. Um, I'm gonna reach into one of my into my pocket pouch and dig around for a potion vial. Okay. Um. I have like six healing potions and I know they're all together. <laughs> so I would like to wow. tell me if I can, I would like to try to grab a healing potion. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, and administer it to Hayfried. Okay. Yeah, you so can do that. Reach up for his mouth and administer a healing potion to him to hopefully okay. knowing that, realizing that I'm probably not giving him anything and it's not doing anything um, that I would like to try to heal him and hopefully give that, give that some extra juice we need. Okay, um, yeah, roll that healing. Uh, seven points of healing. Oh, okay. Awesome. He's very appreciative of that. If you could see his expression, he's very uh, appreciative I of that. I can't, but that's um, okay. <laughs> Next up, Kellick. Just before this magical darkness encased this platform, you saw the horns on Flynn's head begin to retract back into his skull. Ooh. You just barely saw them begin to move back in. Is there anything that you would like to do? Nothing I can do about the darkness. Uh, I am going to... Don't die in there, Flynn! And I'm just going to cast Spare... Or I'm going to hold Spare the Dying. uh, Or if I feel his life slipping away as I'm... Okay. Clutching him on this platform. All right. Next up, <laughs> hey, Freed. Oh, God. No, here we oh, go. We've got three Good. successes, two failures. <sighs> a success means that it was a success. A failure means something very different. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> oh straight God. roll. Hayfried, as he's standing there, magic pouring out from his hands, you guys all feel, as silence. Then you all hear, as Flynn, you feel the room around you begin to collapse. These stones falling from the walls around you. You can see the shadowy figure no longer there in the corner as you are thrust out through the doorway. (gasps) And you open your eyes and it's still complete darkness. As you all hear right next to the sheep, you hear bones cracking. You hear muscle and tendons stretching. And you hear this guttural And you can hear this transformation Of this sheep (gasps) That is laying there on the table And then you hear As two feet land on the ground Next to the table where the sheep was You hear the Footsteps. Boom. 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 Walking alongside the platform towards the bridge. And walking across the bridge. You guys can no longer see anything as you are still in darkness. You can hear Hayfried at this moment collapsed onto the ground. Olma, you can you can feel his body weakened before you. What would you all like to do? Are we still on initiative? You are not. I run towards the sound I'm, of the booming. I, I'm going to grab back in my pocket another healing potion because we need him up. Um, this time I'm grabbing a slightly bigger bottle. Okay. Uh, 
really, really good. Fifteen points of healing. Jeez. Okay. As he springs back to life and immediately his eyes open and he um, leans up and you can hear right away as he as he sits up, you can hear him begin to mutter an incantation to himself. And you feel him come back to life as he's muttering this incantation. Um, I'm running towards the sound of the filming. You are actually still on the table restrained. Okay, uh, can I have... Yes. Cut him loose in some way. I don't. I will say yes. Yeah, you could. You were right there holding him down. Yeah. Um, you would have been able to cut him free. Yeah. So yeah, he, we're both hopping off that table and, and sprinting in the direction. Mm-hmm. So with that little reset, I'm going to have a start back at the top of the initiative. So Flynn, top of the order. You are no longer restrained. You are in this magical darkness, and you all you can hear is these footfalls from some gigantic creature. Yeah. Um, realizing, realizing that I'm of my own mind and I'm back in... Well, Would I understand that I'm back in the real world with this darkness around me? It feels different. I, yeah. I feel Kelly yeah, holding me, would. like holding mm-hmm. my head. Okay. For sure. I'm back, buddy. I'm back. And I'll uh, hear the thuming uh, and I will attempt to stand up and run that direction. Um, so hopefully, uh, if Kellick lets me go after he cuts the ropes, I'll use half my movement to stand up and then the rest of it to just run in that direction. Okay. That, would that I get am, me out of the darkness? I Yes. As soon as you left this platform, you would have um, been out of the darkness. Okay. I am going to have you make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. All right. That is a 11. Not very 11. Great. All right. As you run off of this platform, you almost miss it, but your foot just barely hits the bridge um, as you're going across. As you okay. are running out of this magical darkness, um, your foot fa- your foot barely hits the bridge, and you're able to sort of regain your balance. Okay. And you run out onto the bridge that was connecting this to the other platform with all of the papers stacked and piled high. And in the middle of that platform, you can see hunched over, 15 feet tall, with white tufts of wool. You can see the um, the muscles where the skin has been ripped off. You can see the muscles underneath moving and still transforming. You can see uh, the shoulder pop out of its socket, elongate down towards the ground as the bones are spiking out from its skin. And you can see the shoulder then pop back in. You can see the legs trying their best to form into humanoid legs out of these sheep legs and you can see the hooves at the bottom um, beginning to to grow and crack just from the size and as it turns around towards you running at it you see this elongated horror of what was once a sheep's face that's melded now with a partially tiefling face these Uh. horns that are emanating from the forehead wrap all the way around towards the shoulders and you can see one eye is like bulged out like the socket is just barely trying to keep it in and you can still hear it like groaning and and trying to keep itself together am i in melee with it or no you can be if you Um, want to run up with my half my movement will i be able to get to it oh that's right yeah you would be able to get halfway across the bridge sure um and then i will use my movement um my action to uh dash and i'll get up to it okay and uh, I'll, I'll grab a piece of the... Is there any type of wool that I can grab on this bean? Um, yeah. Yeah, there's just like little tufts of wool where it hasn't been ripped apart. I'll grab onto that and I'll say, I'm sorry, we can't let it get away. And I'll hold my blade up, ready to attack. And that's my turn. Okay. All right. Um, next up on the initiative... That's going to be Shreya. Uh, so I'm still in this magical darkness, yeah? Yes, you are. Uh, still coughing from the <laughs> the poison and just cloaked in this darkness. Um, I, processing everything that's happened, I lean on my staff and turn my inner eye toward all of the magical darkness that is surrounding me. And... I am going to try to commune with it. This isn't a spell or a check or anything. I'm just going to sit there and be with it and try to understand it. Okay. All right. Um, next up on the initiative, um, 
Flynn, you see this thing is still like it's its limbs are still growing and mutating um, as it turns around to you and gives you a deep growl. And, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and um, it is going to try and swipe at you with its giant like half hoof, half hand um, and try and uh, knock you down. That makes sense. What stat block is our DM <laughs> trying to use for a monster sheet. <laughs> I have a very, very unique stat block. I can imagine. Um, <laughs> that's going to be a 22 to hit. That'll do Ooh. it. All right. And you're not going to be happy about this. That's okay. I mean, 19 points of bludgeoning damage. <gasps> As this mass of a fist swings around and just knocks you right in the chest. Ooh. Ow. All right, that is going to be its turn. Um, it is actually, uh, yeah, the second thing it's going to do is continue its mutation. Um, so as you guys, or Flynn would probably have a front row seat to this, <laughs> it's actually like the the muscles and the tissue that were like expanding have stopped expanding and are starting to sort of come back and piece back together as it's slowly getting a little bit smaller and uh, sort of the the limbs and everything are coming back together. Olma. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, Hayfried seems like he's doing better, right? He's, he's doing he something. seems like he's doing better, yes. Great. I'm going to just um, hop around him and try to make my way towards where I heard Flynn getting hit. Okay. Until I'm, until I can see. I'm going to have you make a dex 37 throw. Oh, 18. <laughs> 18. Um, you remember exactly where the bridge was. <laughs> you plant your foot down with confidence and you're able to uh, run straight for it. As you emerge from the darkness, would you like to continue moving? No, 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 no. Okay. Um, and I am going to look at Flynn. How does he look? Very hurt. How does Flynn look? Um, Very hurt. Yeah, past bloody. Oh boy. Um, mm. I'm going to take a deep, 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 deep breath. Um, my hands together. Um, uh, put my hands together and pull them apart slowly. Um, and as I'm focusing on my breathing, I feel this happening very quickly. Um, this um, ball is forming much faster than I'm used to it forming. And I will cast, I will use Quicken Spell at level two and cast um, Chaos Bolt. Once and then once again for two. Of them. Okay. First time was a wow, um, 21 to hit. That hits. Second one is a 20, dirty 20 to hit. That hits. For the first one. Okay. <laughs> so the way Chaos Bolt works is that if you, you're rolling two D8s and if they land on the same number, um, your bolt can. Um, your bolt can um, hop, I believe, is how that works. If you roll the same number on both the eights, the chaotic energy leaps from the target to a different creature of your choice within 30 feet. I don't have another creature I wanted to hop to, but I did roll double fours. So, how do you want to... How do you want to... So I'm going to say since it doesn't have another creature to hop to, it's not going to be able to hop. Cool. Okay, great. But it's not going to hop to Flynn. <laughs> okay, that's yes, good. Unless you want it to hop to Flynn. No. I'd rather not. Then I'd um, be more so that than happy. Is, um, Normally, sure. Today, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> that, um, the first one is 13 points of force damage. Okay. And the second one is 15 points of thunder damage. Nice. Wow. Okay. Um, okay, and, I'm going to have you um, roll and your... wild magic. Wild magic. The first Love one, any- you have to beat an eight. Yes. Fourteen. Okay, roll it again. You have to beat a nine. <sighs> ah! What is it? Two. No! Yeah, there it is. Okay, we're going to reset that. Okay. <laughs> so, let me see. Uh, who's who's within 60 feet of Ulma? No! Everybody? Um, freaking everyone. Everybody. Except maybe Shreya? 
I no, think he's in there. Uh, I think I'm. I think I'm at forty-five. Yeah, feet yeah. he's in there. Actually, yeah. Where I am. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. So, <gasps> Kellick. No. Afreed. No. Flynn. No. <laughs> and this creature. Yeah, and the creature. Okay, at least there's right. that. You are all poisoned. Oh. Ooh. That could be, wor- could be worse. Could be worse. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Poison sucks. All right. That's Oma. Yeah. Am um, I poisoned? Uh, you are not. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm sorry. I misread that. Let me see. One, two, three, no, four. Okay, like I'm gonna those, roll a D4. It's worse. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. <laughs> okay, just Hayfried is poisoned. I misread that. Oh, okay. It is a it is a random creature within sixty feet. Uh, Not all creatures. Okay. Within 60 feet. Uh, okay. Yeah. That is That's bad. better, I think. Is it? I don't know. The one guy that <laughs> could potentially fix this cluster crap. You know, okay. he's pretty winded from his. Kellick, what would you like to do? Okay, uh, I'm gonna try to move toward this thing to figure out where it is. Okay, make a dexterity saving throw as you leave this platform. Um, That is a uh, 13. I can't do math. I'm so stressed. It's 13. A 13 <laughs> saves. Um, just like Flynn, you sort of, you barely find that edge. You sort of wobble for a second, but you're able to find the bridge and continue on. How close would you like to get? Um. um <laughs> uh, one second. Oh, uh, Within 30 feet, so I think I'm good. Okay. All right, I don't know. Let me, yeah. With just uh, just within 30 feet is how far I want to go. You're good. Okay. Okay. Um, I've come out of this darkness, searching for this thing. I find my footing. I see this beast. <sighs> if there's anything that rejects life and death, that should be it. And I close my eyes really tight, and I open them, and they are pure. Uh, they're the usual... Uh, uh, ashes, but these ashes are a bright uh, silvery blue, and uh, and they are like seeping out of my eyes uh, and and sort of uh, in, a, in a, almost like a steam. Uh, and I uh, I raise my my uh, bandaged hand, and uh, and the center of my palm is just like completely inflamed uh, in this in the three rings, and I say, and I will channel divinity path to the grave on this creature um, and until the end of my next turn. Uh, the next time uh, me or an ally of mine hits the cursed creature with an attack, the creature has vulnerability to all of that attack's damage. Um, wow. so, okay. uh, so rifts around this creature open up and these like um, uh, uh, embered ashen hands start to form around it that will attempt to steer it toward wherever the pain is coming from that it's going to. They're, they're like these like almost like fans blowing ashes into this creature to try and push it. Okay. <sighs> All right. And then for my bonus action. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because that's not a spell. Nice. That's Channel Divinity. Uh, I'm going to cast a uh, healing word on Flynn. Ooh. Uh, okay. yeah. Nice. <laughs> All right. Um, Consent. Flynn. You feel that. Actually, uh, Hayfried is up next. Uh, Flynn, Um, you regain uh, eight hit points. Huge. Thank you. Hayfried finishes his little spell, and little use it does at this point, but the magical darkness is dispelled. Oh, thanks. (laughs) Um, Shreya, you can see again. He didn't know. He Uh, couldn't know that you guys were all gone. (laughs) Um, So I see all these ashes and things around it, right? Yeah. Um, well, the magical darkness is gone, so I'll turn back to Hatefreed and I'll... Do we need a bigger cage? If I hit it, will it just come in, go, go out and come to somebody else? And I'll yell that out. And uh, Seeing the ashes, though, I'll just like... Uh, oh, here we go. And I'll uh, rub my fingers together, uh, seeing that there's ashes and some kind of weird thing I'm gonna try and light it up, and I'll rub my fingers together. The red symbol glows. Uh, rub my fingers across the blade and cast Green Flame Blade, and I'm gonna try and hit it with some fire. Okay, make an attack roll. 
Okay, so I don't know how that works with this, but we'll see. <laughs> um, attack. What am I picking up a D6 sucker. for? Does a, does a, does a 10, <laughs> does a 10 hit? A 10 does not hit. One more, one more attack. Can't. <laughs> can't. It's, it's an ability. It's a spell. Oh, it's a spell. okay. I thought I'd be able to do more damage. Um, yeah. I will run in front of it. No. Does it seem like it's trying to get out of here? It does. It is heading towards the door. Yeah. Um, I will stand my ground. Ah, I can't. And I'll just stand there. You're not going anywhere. All right. Um, Shreya. Uh, so I'm going to use my movement to get within 30 feet of the beast. Right. And did I hear Flynn yell that out? Yeah, About he would have been able to. See, I, I'm also conflicted. Mm -hmm. Like I'm searching. I'm thinking like, if we kill this thing, if we kill the body it's in. Will it mm -hmm. try to move? So, I reach my talons into the rock that's under me um, as I plant my staff as firmly as I can into the ground and as it plants into the ground you just see this like lightning bolt of vines just branch out from the bottom of my staff and just run up lightning fast like crawl up uh, to the legs uh, of this hulking creature uh, as, I ta uh, as I cast Entangle on it. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, you do. Okay. Yeah, you do. What is is that going to be a deck save? That is That is a strength save actually. Oh, boy. This mm -hmm. thing is pretty strong. Yeah. But d does that just apply to the damage the thing that Kellek cast on it? No, I think it does. Do damage? Yeah. I don't think uh, it, I don't think it, no, it doesn't damage. do damage. So it won't straight, affect my straight. my move at all. Damn. So it's still it'll still be up though for whoever does damage. Now. Yeah, until my really, next turn, until the end of my next turn. I don't think it really matters what his strength score is because I rolled a two. No, hey, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. clean. Hey, yo. Ah. let's go. So he is now restrained. Let's go. Yes. Try is that or, correct? Okay. This is uh yeah this is minute this is a minute long. That's huge. Okay. Um, what is the save to break out of that? Because he's immediately going to try and break out. Uh, the save to break out is going to be 16. Which he does not get. <laughs> oh, my. Nice. Lord. <laughs> that's, that's what he spends his turn trying to do, and he can't do it. Nice, um, nice, nice. Oma, what would you like to do? Yeah, I'm going to run um, to being in front of the next bridge. Okay. Um, blocking his path. Um, and I will um, put my hands in front of me, um, pushing my thumbs and my forefingers into the shape of a triangle, and I will take a deep breath and hold burning hands. Okay. Kalik. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I am going to... No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to run up to it. I'm gonna get in melee range with this okay. thing. Yeah. Oh, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna place my hand on it and cast inflict wounds. Nice. All right. Is it still vulnerable, or is it? Does that stop at it the is, end? It is. It's until the end of my next turn. Nice. So it's still my. So if I get it, get it, it, get it. Does a um fourteen hit? A fourteen does not hit. Oh. Okay. Um. Shit. Well, now I'm in melee range with it, so cool. <laughs> I'm too, going buddy. to. Uh, the uh, the ashes dissipate. I can't do it. I can't uh, use it. All right, that's me. Well, we probably didn't want to kill it anyway. Yeah. I want to kill it. Next up, <laughs> <laughs> you hear. You all hear from the other platform. 
Flynn, Kerlick, move! Ooh. As you can see, Hayfried has lifted his hand, and you can see hovering about 20 feet above this creature, a massive cage. No that way. Is directly above the creature. He's going to hold his action to drop that until Flynn and Kalik are out of the way. Next up is Flynn. Uh, it's still held, right? It's still held by those. It's still held. Okay. Yeah. He's waiting for you to move. Right, right, right. Uh, well, I'll move, obviously, um, to Oma's side. Okay. Uh, next to her. Gonna get an attack of That's opportunity. Fine. I need to move. That's an 18 to hit. That'll hit. Okay. Shield? <laughs> 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Ow. Okay. But ow. <coughs> and I just kind of like limp over, roll, and kind of get over to that side. Um, do I look, when I look up, does it seem like I am far enough away that it will land and not, like I'm out of the way? Yes. Okay. You and Ulma are clearly out of the way. The only person in danger right now is Kelly. I'll stand up. Hi, Oma. That's my turn. Hi. Okay. Um. Um. I had held my action. Oh yeah. What, what are you holding it for? Um. I had been holding it for like defense, like to distract him. Okay. Um. So I don't know if I can distract him from trying to attack Kelly. I don't know if that's. Something I can do. You held burning hands. I held burning hands. Yeah. Um, he also gets, I mean, unless it's a I crazy monster. I think you're out of the way, though. Because it gets... it's 15, it's a cone of 15. I think you're outside of the cone. Unless I it has multiple reactions, hit though. It, but, but also, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have multiple reactions. Does burning hands destroy uh, Entangle? Oh, it might. Uh, it might burn it up might. The, the roots. We would roll for it. Yeah. Okay. So would you like to use those that burning hands? <laughs> <laughs> what would Oma do? Um, yeah, I would because it hurt Flynn <laughs> and I'm scared okay. and I was holding it, so it's there. So. Is that a roll on my end? Or a roll on your end? It's a roll on my end. Actually, okay. no, you're, it's a dex, it's a dex, it's a dex save. save. Yeah. Okay. If he's restrained, is it... Disadvantage yeah. because he's restrained, yeah. Oh, wait, that's bad. Crap. That's a 13. There's a 14 save. Okay. And now I'm going to roll for the vines. The vines seem to be doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> the vines there we go. dodge out of the way of the vines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nimble. Concentrating really hard into the stack yeah. and the roots right. and the vines. Just like... <laughs> All right. Um, Shry, you see this cage is about to come down. Oh. And Do I, standing right I there. roll for damage? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, roll for damage. And I have a question. I Would I be able to and hold my action? Because I just moved. Would I be able to hold my action? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say we've, we've moved from that point. Sure, no worries. So that's 12 points of fire damage. Okay. Um, and I need to beat a one, which I did. Nice. All right, now, Shreya. I'm going to keep holding my concentration on that entangle spell. Yeah, okay. you are. Nice. Um, it's going to try and break out of Entangle. Low rolls <laughs> on the strength oh, scores. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's, I, mean, I, assume, I assume less than a 10. You stay there. Still. Yeah, yeah, definitely okay. less than a 10. Yeah. Um, Oma, what would you like to do? Um, Wait, when is it uh, after Oma? Yeah, you're after me. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I, um, it's stuck. Um, things seem to be going all right. Um, I see the cage above, so I will, um... Keep my hands together and, and hold, hold again. Hold, hold in case, in case something bad happens. Yeah. All right, Kaelic, what do you want to do? I'm going to use my action to disengage. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and I'm going to uh, head back toward uh, back toward Shreya. Um, okay. uh, just just uh, back back over on the on the stone bridge, um, and I'm going to um, watch your step. Don't trip there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shreya. 
Debility. I'm going to cast Bane on this monster. Yeah. <laughs> this monster. <Okay. laughs> All right. Uh, almost. Yeah. Got to What is the save him. on that? Save his charisma. 16. That's a 15. Hell yeah. No. It's Bane. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and as you move back onto the bridge, um, you uh, can see um, the hand of Hayfried begin to relax as he lets go of this cage, and it, boom, makes contact with the ground and impacts, and you can see it like the cage itself digs into the ground around it as this thing is trapped and caged. <laughs> we are out of initiative. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, man. Oh. And ah. as you guys are all standing around, exhausted, looking at this monstrosity of a creature, you guys all look around to your companions here. Flynn, you feel such a sense of relief. You, you, you feel like a weight has literally mm-hmm. been taken off of your mind. Kalik, you see this monstrosity that you've just locked away. Ulma, you see this, this creature that you let go of Flynn who you helped extract this thing out of one of your friends. And Shry, you see this creature who you helped sort of mastermind this this trapping into. And as you guys all sort of come together in this way, you all level up. And that is where we're going to end this session. See, Hayfried, I told you it would work out fine. (laughs) I told you. That is it with the creature trapped in a cage. Woo! we're going to call it right there. Oh Thank you God. all so much for listening, and we can't wait to see you all again next week. <laughs> Bye, oh, man. I can't believe we didn't all die. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, okay. nerds. Bye, nerds. Bye, nerds. See you next time. Whew. Hey, everybody. This is Cameron. I play Shreya on Venture Forth. I just want to remind you all, if you like what you're hearing, uh, just take a look at our socials. Follow us. Subscribe. Likes. Those likes just feel so good when you like us on those socials uh and also check out our patreon we got a bunch of really great perks there uh and things that you might even not thought of to to check out uh also uh, we've been doing these spotlights on youtube uh which are also very fun as well so thanks again for listening uh we love y'all and uh see you in the next episode